Hey, what is up everyone? Welcome back to another video. Shinman Takazo here and we'll talk about the best battle spells to use on different marksman heroes. Before we proceed, let me make this a bit simpler by telling you now that when playing as a marksman, these are the top two viable spells to use, Inspire or Flicker. Hey Shin, I used the Retribution for my marksman, why didn't you include it? Don't worry, I'll get to that towards the end of this video explaining why. But right now, what spell do we choose between Inspire or Flicker on specific marksmen? That's the thing we're going into in this video. So let's start off with Inspire. The best candidates to use Inspire with are Irithyll, Moskov, Kerry, and Bruno. Why Inspire on Irithyll? You already have a dash skill with your jumping ult. Using skill 2 slows down your enemies so they won't escape or be able to chase you. And Inspire is essential to use along with your exploding ultimate basic attacks. It only lasts 15 seconds so by using Inspire, you can shoot out more arrows within that time limit, effectively increasing your damage per second over multiple enemies. Why Inspire on Moskov? As Moskov, you already have a dash with your skill 1. So this is basically a built-in flicker on this hero. Its cooldown isn't as fast, but if all else fails, you can knock back enemies with your skill too. Now you need Inspire because whenever you pin an enemy to a wall or to another enemy using your skill too, you would want to dish out as much damage as you can during that stun duration. And in team fights, Inspire is also perfect for when the enemies are lined up together or if an ally lands a good area stun you want to maximize your damage output before they scatter away. Why Inspire on Carry? Just like Moskov, she has a very short cooldown dash that you can use to escape or chase. What you need on Carry though is more attack speed to trigger your true damage faster and to counter that decrease in attack speed whenever you use your ultimate. Why Inspire on Bruno? I think this is obvious. Everyone uses Inspire on Bruno, right? Because you already have an OP escape or dash skill that also stuns enemies that you hit. And Inspire would help you dish out more attacks while you have your plus crit chance passive up whenever you use skills on enemies. And now heroes that should be using Flicker over any other battle spells available in game are Hanabi, Leslie, Layla, and Clint. Why Flicker on Hanabi? She has no dash skill, she has immunity, but this shield gets destroyed with one skill or spell, and as a marksman, you'll be one of the primary targets of your enemies, so you have to expect to get hit by more than one attack or spell. And that makes your immunity useless. You get nice multiple target damage with your skill 1 already, you can disable whole teams with your ult, and your only weakness is your mobility. Why flicker on Leslie? You might say that, hey Shin, Leslie already has a dash skill on her skill 1. Yes, that's true, but that won't stop spells from hitting you, especially area of effect spells. And that speed boost goes away immediately once you get hit by anything at all, even damage coming from minions. Your main form of damage comes from critical strikes from your passive, and that makes Leslie a hit and run type of champion. So attack speed from Inspire would be useless since this passive only activates every few seconds or every Every time you cast a spell. Why flicker on Layla? Yes Shin, why oh why? <laughs> Dudes, it's obvious. She has everything. Longest attack range in game, big damage area ultimate, and area slow effect skills. And her only weakness is her lack of dash. So putting flicker on Layla will be the best decision you'll make if you ever plan on using her. Why flicker on Clint? When he already has the skill 2 escape skill thing, right? Wrong. Its cooldown is horrendous and the animation is so slow. With Flicker, you can use it defensively when trying to escape or offensively when trying to get that last hit with your passive on that low HP enemy running away, making sure that kill doesn't escape. We shouldn't be getting Inspire on Clint as well, just like Leslie, because Clint relies on his passive that enhances his basic attacks every time he uses skills. Now for Mia, Yi Sun Shin, and Roger, I'm pretty bit unsure. It could be either Flicker or Inspire. For Mia, it's really effective to use Inspire since you want that passive attack speed to be up there immediately in team fights, and it helps you dish out more damage while your triple attack passive is in effect. But without Flicker, you would have to have real good timing when using your ult, since that would be your only escape skill. For Yi Sun Shin, you already have skill 2, so Inspire might be really good for him, so you can deal more damage with your basic attacks, especially when you are close range and using your sword to smack your enemies in the face. 
but just like Mia you have to time your skill too properly to escape or chase enemies because that would be your only escape. For Roger I'm leaning more into inspire versus flicker since you already have your movement speed whenever you transform and you can dash towards enemies with your skill 1 during wolf form so inspire might be more ideal for him and I've also seen people get petrify on Roger to use after he uses his dash or skill 1. Okay now that we're done with that let's talk about retribution and why didn't I choose retribution for any of these heroes at all. I'm not saying it's 100% wrong to use retribution but think about this. Yes it lets you get items faster, lets you farm faster but what good is it in teamfights? You can slow down enemy heroes with retribution when you buy tier 2 jungle items but you only slow down their movement speed. You can't slow down enemies if they decide to use their dash skills to get close to you. And if these are assassins we're talking about trying to get you and dashing towards you, having retribution instead of flicker or inspire would be the worst idea. You would be dead immediately. And a dead marksman is a zero DPS marksman. No damage done at all. So even if you have like full set of items because you used retribution early game, if you're dead then that's pointless. So take Flicker so you can at least survive and fight back if you are getting focused. Or Inspire so you can kill enemies faster before they kill you. And getting Flicker or Inspire over Retribution guarantees that your Saber ally won't AFK throughout the game because you'd have no chance of stealing the buff because you don't have Retribution. So yeah, leave the Retribution to the Mages, to the Assassins, and the blue buffs. And that is all for this video. I guess I hope you learned something today. Now I know we can't all agree on this since this is my personal opinion, but Feel free to leave a comment below letting me know what your best battle spell is for each marksman heroes or marksman heroes that you use. And again, my name is Shinman Takizo. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.